fuck this shit. How you doing? Where your husband at? Huh? So where your husband at? My husband? Yeah. Who's that? On the phone? Huh? Are you recording? Huh? Who's recording? Are you recording? No, it's my YouTube channel. Oh, am I on there? Nah. You don't want to, can you, can you want to say a few words? No, no, no. You sure? Am I on there, like, seriously? No, you ain't on here. Yes, I was. No, you wasn't. Let me see. <laughs> you're not up here, for real. I was on there. I wouldn't do that. But I was on there. No, you're not up here. I was pointing it at me. You are not up here. What do you do on YouTube? I got a channel. What do you do on the channel? The type of stuff I talk about? Yeah. Text me. What's that? What my channel is about? Well, my channel was growing. I talk about stuff like stuff that's out of like Farscape type stuff. Um, stuff that's like I'm coming out with a book. Um, I do movies. Oh, okay. I shoot movies and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not even from here. Where are you from? Delaware. Oh, okay. Originally, yeah, but I just just moved here recently. Oh, you know. What made you come up to me? I was getting out of the car. Yeah. Spirit led me and I. Oh, okay. So. Huh? Yes. You got me? Alright. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I'm so serious. Alright. Yeah, little, little she know her ass is going up here for the Jaguars. Gonna see her. She is a prop that we using. But anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, man, I ain't really doing nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's really nothing to do. Like, once you, the only reason why you be feeling like you got something to do, well, let me say, me, the only reason why I be feeling like, you know, like, you just be living and like, what I'm doing, what what is there to do? The only reason why you feel like that, okay, that type of feeling is for dead people. Like, you just the rubber duckies in the pond and the only reason why you feeling like you got to do something because the other rubber duckies in the pond are pushing you around and around in circles because really all streets are just circles and the only thing they do they circle like a racetrack that's it all around the world if you ride all throughout the united states look at the highway system and the highway and how they just circle like a racetrack you ever been to like a um museum not a museum but like a carnival and they have like the games and you've seen those rubber duckies in the pond and they just circle around that's what people do every day but see i'm on another level right i'm left side of the brain y'all know how i do that lady's just a prop we don't care about her y'all already know she's just being used for this channel the spirit led me to speak to her so it's not about what she wants to do it's what the spirit led us to do she is in my mind you get what i'm saying she is in my mind she is in my world so she's being used for this channel but back to what i was saying you see i told y'all i'm turning it up i don't give a fuck no more you know what i'm saying because we at the end of times it's 2020 yeah i'm getting off subject so let me get back on subject i'm going back to that old way i used to be on the first channel i'm going back because i got I got too nice for a period. I didn't got too nice. It's time for me. I was thinking about that today. It's time for me to get back thorough, man. I'm about to get back thorough. But anyway, it's like I was saying to myself, what is there to do? It's like God is all knowing, right? He don't do nothing. He just sit back and relax. So I figured it out. I said, I'm at that level, I'm not all knowing like God, but I'm at that level now where I know so much. Yeah, I see you camera up there watching me. I'm not stupid. You see how, how they be watching you? They do, oh man, let me stay on point. Like, like God is all knowing, right? And I'm in the hood right now. I don't know nobody around here. I'm in the fucking hood right now. In the fucking hood, and I don't give a fuck. But anyway... God, um, he's all knowing, right? So he just be sitting back, chilling, doing absolutely nothing. He was doing nothing for eons and eons and eons. So when you get to that level 
where you just got the information down pat when you understand that it's, that it's only two type of people those who know and those who don't know those who get it and those who don't get it once you realize that it's like everything else we do or everything else i do in this life is because of money because you gotta have money to eat to have a place to stay that's why they created <coughs> excuse me that's why they created money in the first place to give a motherfucker something to do Because if everything was free All of this green that you see If everything was free Nobody, they couldn't enslave anybody So They had to create all of this bullshit Just to make people React In a certain kind of way They don't, they don't, they don't want peace They don't want peace out here man They want motherfucking chaos you know what I'm saying? They don't want peace out here. They want motherfucking chaos. And I realized that. Because I asked myself, I said, what are you doing tonight? And then I answered my own questions that be in my mind. And I said, I'm doing what the fuck I want to do. There's nothing to do. Outside of these insights, I wouldn't even want to wake up in the morning. I'm telling you, I wouldn't even want to get out the bed. I get out of the bed for this shit. I get out the bed for this shit. Otherwise, there wouldn't be no reason for me to wake up. What would be the reason for me to wake up? Just to be another rubber ducky in the pond going round and round in circles? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in front of this QT. Every, everywhere you go in America, there's a QT. I'm out here in front of this QT, just chilling by myself. And I feel good. Because a rubber ducky going around the pond, what is it learning? I also thought today how... <sighs> if you don't influence... Influencing influencing others is the definition of life. Like, like that sign in a in a way is alive because it's influencing somebody. It's giving you a price. It's speaking to your mind. Snackle 199. Even this right here. It's influencing somebody. It's giving you a price. Free glazed donut. It's giving you a price. It's it's talking to you. But these rubber duckies, and that's what I'm calling them, these people that just go in circles in their life, round and round and round, they don't have a purpose. So they're not influencing anybody. Because I thought, I could wake up and not do any of this that I'm doing right now. I could just wake up, go to work. You don't even have to think to live. Only thing you got to do, look, you wake up, Go to work. You ain't even got to talk to nobody at work. Say you work on, a, on, an assembly, on an assembly line. You just working on the assembly line, moving parts. At the end of the week, get your paycheck. You ain't got to talk for none of this now. Other than the, the job detail, you wouldn't have to say nothing. Get your work done. Thank you, sir, for my check at the end of the week. Go to the bank, cash your check. Put gas in your car. Pay your light bill. Pay your gas bill. You ain't even got to buy clothes. You ain't even got to go nowhere. You ain't got to dress fancy. You ain't got to do none of that. You ain't got to talk to no women. You ain't got to talk to no girls. You could just be like a machine, basically. You wouldn't have to influence nobody. You don't have to have any insights to live. You don't have to have, like I tell, like I said before, it doesn't take intelligence to live in this life. It don't take intelligence for a female to get pregnant. All of this stuff is just programmed. Pre-program, but to be on this level that I'm on, it requires some deep reflection, some deep intellectual thought. It requires something. Hold on, this lady right here. I see. I'm still at it. Hey, hey. All right. Yeah. But um 
You know what I'm saying? It, requ it requires deep reflection. It requires deep intellectual thought. You got to be the person to be able to receive this. Everybody else that don't receive this, they just the prison bars, the human prison bars. They don't have to think. They like these things, these pegs sticking out the ground. They just, you see me kick it. They just a human prison bar. You get what I'm saying? They don't have to do anything. They just standing there, human prison bars. But somebody like me, influencing even if I'm just influencing my myself from day to day that's good enough because I'm making a way out of this you see it's like they say money is the root of all evil money is the root of what they use to motivate a motherfucker to get up in the morning. Somebody say, so what are you doing with your life? Absolutely nothing. Once you get wisdom and knowledge and understanding, it's nothing to do because that's the ultimate goal of everything. That's what the ultimate goal of everything should be. Not to have some fucking children and your fucking wife and your fucking career, all that shit gonna, even your kids going to die. Your career, they gonna shut that business down one day. They gonna go out of fucking business. You meaning you live your whole life for that shit? Or you wanna be on this left side of the brain type shit right here? The choice is yours. I choose this path because this is meaningful. If I live my entire life being a rubber ducky, I wasted an entire life. That means I would have wasted an entire life on bullshit that don't amount to anything. Don't amount to nothing. And I refuse to go out like that. Because to me, what I'm speaking right now, this is what I live for, man. This is my passion. This is my hobby. Philosophying is my hobby. This is what I do for fun. This shit is fun to me. Even when I, that's why when I'm by myself, I always got something to do. You mean to tell me you bored and all this shit to think about? All these human prison bars out here And you can just analyze these motherfuckers Think about them Talk shit about them Figure their asses out This is a maze that you can learn How to work through and how it operates It's so much to learn It's so, f man, it's fun, man I, You know, I, I live for this shit God, he does the same thing He sits back God is not trying to even us, right? God created us to entertain him, basically. That's all this shit is. All of this is just entertainment. That's it. Like, it's, it's really, we're, we are not doing anything. I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to convey, if anything. You not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Nobody is doing anything. Everything is already created. What is there to do? Only thing you can do is create. That's it. It's nothing to do but create. People created their own problems on this earth. It's nothing to do. Look, the trees are already made. We made The air I'm breathing It's already made The darkness As you see It's already made What else could you put into this world That's not already there Even what I'm saying is not new There's nothing new under the sun I'm just Basically um Pointing some things out because the average motherfucker they don't think like this. So here, this where 
the universe puts a left side of the brain in place as a portal for, for information to reach people on this level. And that's it. Simple and plain. And you, you, as the individual, you have to find your niche in this thing. And your niche is not your career. It's not your hobby. It's not your kids. That's not your niche. Your niche is discovering this truth that I am speaking right now. That is your purpose. Everything outside of truth is meaningless I'm telling you truth doesn't get old people everything else it has a, a, a expiration date the law of novelty meaning that everything will expire everything you enjoying now it will get old to you eventually you buy a new a pair of shoes. It's new at first. Then it turns old. You see? That woman you with. She knew at first. That man you with. It's new at first. It's exciting at first. But then it turns old. Suddenly. And, and that's how everything is, man. Uh, I don't know who that dude is But fuck him Cause he ain't on this shit I'm speaking about So fuck him That's <laughs> Man That's my new outtake on everything man I don't give a fuck about these people man These individuals ain't shit I could sit out here for five hours Just talking to myself the trees do it. They stand outside all day. Look. Them trees, they stand outside all day. You don't think they alive? They very alive. <laughs> Those trees are alive. They, they, they older than your ass. They've been here for hundreds of years. That's right. Them trees are alive. And they even hear what I'm saying right now. This earth I'm standing on is alive. You don't believe that, do you? So, tell me this. How does grass grow up out the ground if the earth is dead? None of this stuff is dead. You may be dead. Dead is not getting it. That's what dead is. Death in itself is an illusion. Life and death really means, like I said, those who... get it and those who don't get it that's what it boils down to if you don't get it you dead if you get it you alive so death is not being in a coffin with a suit and tie on and they got you in the front of a church <laughs> and an organ player and a preacher this was a good old man that motherfucker was dead before y'all put his ass in the coffin Every day when I when I when I be looking at people around this world, right? I be saying to myself, like, in my mind, I just see like a funeral procession behind them. You ever seen like the Mardi Gras? Not the Mardi Gras, but um in New Orleans, when they do funerals, they go all out. They had like this band and they be playing music. Most of these people, like, use your imagination. Most people you see. Start doing this. Imagine a band behind them with drums and tambourines and trumpets. Because they dead. They the walking dead. And they got a funeral procession behind them. Yeah. So dead don't mean stiff and in a wooden box. No. You can be dead standing here. They can be dead looking you in the face talking to you. That's right. That's so really you ever heard of um seances that ain't nothing 
You have a seance every day. You talking to these dead people. So that word don't blow me away. Yeah, I can talk to dead people. I'm going to see the soothsayer. You ain't telling me nothing. I talk to dead people every day. These motherfuckers are dead. This is a seance. All right. This is a seance. That's that lady I was talking to. She rolled by, was smiling and waving at me. Yeah, like, <clears throat> she talking about, don't put me on that video. Shh, please. Your ass gonna be. <laughs> Your ass going right up. Your ass going right up on YouTube. She just don't know. <laughs> she don't know who she fucking with. Shit, yo ass right up here on YouTube. Think I'm a um that's some good footage and I'm using that. Shit. <sighs> yeah, man, but what was I saying? Just having fun, man. By myself, talking to the camera. I'm gonna upload this. When I'm talking in front of the camera, it's like I already have a certain affiliation with you. Because I'm, I'm familiar with you through the comment section. So it's really like I'm speaking in a voice as if you was right there. Like we doing a live stream. That's the mood I'm in right now. You see? Because time is an illusion anyway. It's no certain time when I'm doing this. I'm getting too deep for y'all now. <laughs> it's no set time. Time is an illusion. Time only exists... When you perceive that you are dying or something. That's the only reason why people keep up with time. Because it's affiliated with death. How much time I got left to live. When you don't worry about that shit, time don't mean anything. So when you hear this, when I upload it, that will be the same time that I'm saying it right now. As if I'm saying it right now. I know that went over some of y'all heads, but it is what it is. That's what it is. It's no time. Time only exists under this illusion thing that they have built up around us. Like, I'm about to get deep. Let's just say everybody left this city where I'm at. And everything in the stores was just free for all. Free for myself because everybody was gone, right? In this scenario. I could walk up in that store... I could take whatever I needed, whatever I wanted. It's no such thing as laws. The law that you think is a law, that's only something that is put in place for the benefit of the real criminal. The real criminal is the one who set the laws up in place in the first place because the true law of nature is nothing should be paid for. Everything should be free. That's the true law of nature. So the criminal, the criminal is the one who set up, you got to buy this for $199. That's the criminal. So if they wasn't there to enforce any of that, then I could just go into that store if nobody else was in this city and take whatever I wanted. Even, even when they talk about land, okay, you got to buy land and you got property taxes the only reason why you have something called land. How can, okay, God, 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 God. How can you buy some land? How can you own some land? And that very land that you're talking about you own, when your ass die, they're going to bury you under that same land. So how can you own something that when you die, your body is going to deteriorate and melt back into the earth? Fucking fool. How can you say you own land? People don't own land. That shit is just violence. Violence and manipulation is what runs this world. Somebody with a weapon says he owns the land. It's no real law that establishes that somebody owns land. It's not. The only land you own is your body. And that's only for a temporary time till you drop dead. But but when you are alive, nobody should violate your personal space 
or anything like that because that is truly the only land that you own your body that's it that's it we live on a we live on a globe a circle earth we don't live on a flat planet you can throw that bullshit away too i told y'all i see somebody may argue that because they haven't experienced what i experienced i've been outside of my body i've been through space i look back and the earth was round i don't care what nobody said i've seen that shit for myself so you can go to head you can go ahead somewhere with that flat earth theory shit can't nobody tell me the earth is flat because i seen it for myself and it was round it was round as a fucking basketball it was blue just like you see the globe when you was in school geography class that's exactly how that shit looked when i was way out in space and when i turned around and looked at the earth that shit was blue with water and had the little white clouds and all that shit around it just like you see when you go to, when you go on google earth the shit looked just like that so all that flat earth shit that's just some bullshit now if you haven't seen it for yourself like i have then i'm not going to try to argue with you to say to you that oh what you're saying is wrong because maybe you have to experience that for yourself but me as left side of the brain i've seen it for myself so that's one argument that i don't even get into stuff like that even if i never had that experience i never was the one to get into the flat earth debate thing because that's meaningless to the um human prison bar thing that we really dealing with if the flat if the earth is flat we would still be dealing with that if it's round we would still be dealing with that it was if it was square like a nike shoe box we would still be dealing with the same people who try to make us feel stupid for revealing that they are really the uh stupid ones so we, that's that's what that is <clears throat> it'd still be the same shit you know but yeah going back to the top of the discussion you know all of this just came from an initial thought I had, you know, I was writing and it just dawned upon me that there is nothing to do. God isn't doing anything. He's just all knowing in the mind of all knowing. That's where I live now. I live in the mind of all knowing once you grasp that, you will realize that everything else you're doing, you are only doing it because the rubber duckies in the pond are creating the illusion that your life is working towards something and no, no, it's not. The only thing your life is working towards is making more money. But what I can say is this. One thing about money, one thing about money, and I'm going to close out with this. One thing about money is it's something that you can almost 99% guarantee that you won't waste your time pursuing it in that endeavor. But anything outside of just trying to make money, you're going to be gambling with your time. You can be spending your time efficiently or you can be spending your time wasting it away. And what I mean by that is, let me give you an example. If this, if you got to choose between taking a girl out on a date or working some extra hours on your job to make some more money, when you go out on that date with that girl, that situation is not a guaranteed feedback. Meaning, you're going to take her out to eat. You're going to feed her. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be like, if I don't buy her some food, she's going to think I'm cheap or whatever. Even if y'all go Dutch, meaning she buys her own food, you buy her own food. Still, it's no guarantee that you are going to fuck her. I'm not sugarcoating it because we all adults on this channel. 
It's no guarantee that you're going to fuck her at the end of that night. But if you go work them extra hours on that job and forget about that date, that time is guaranteed that you're going to get the feedback. You're going to get the money. You're going to get your money's worth out of that time. That's one thing that I can say about time. But, but dealing with people, it's always a gamble. It's always a gamble with that type of situation. And with that, I'm going to sign out. Got some more shit to handle. This is left side of the brain. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all this. Hey. Wisdom and knowledge is free. It's free. All, only thing you have to do is be willing to receive. But it's the freest thing in the world. Only thing you got to do is be willing to receive. Open up your heart and receive the message. It's free. That's why we say on this channel, the ignorant, the ignorant, they don't deserve freedom. Because anybody who shuts down the gateway to receive higher knowledge and understanding, they as deserve to be in a prison planet. And with that, I'm signing out. This is Left Side of the Brain.